Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube. The first time solving a 4x4 is to build the centers. I'm going to start building a white center. So find this piece and this piece or whatever other pieces and make sure you build a line like this and put it on the top layer. Next step is to find the other two pieces. So these two, they're already paired up. We can just move them up into the top layer so we can build a white center. You have cases like this basically where they're not paired up, just move them out the way and turn it back into a way that pairs them up and move into the top. The white center is very self-explanatory and very easy to do. Now it's time to do the yellow center because the yellow is the opposite of white. So basically fit the white over, put the white on the bottom, and put yellow center on the top. Now we're going to find a yellow center piece. These three and this one. This one's already on top so we don't need to uh, do that one. So now we're going to put this one and match it up with this one. So we're going to move it like this and move it up so it matches. But you also uh, disturb the white piece. So we're going to move this out the way and reattach the white so it uh, remain solved. Alright, so we got a 1x2 bar on the yellow. Now we're going to build another 1x2 bar to put it on the top. So this one and this one, we can align it like this. And now when you put this up, we're going to hide this one as well because if we do it like this one, we disturb the white and no matter how much we twist it, it's going to bring yellow back down. So we're going to move it up into another yellow, spin it twice, and bring this back down so we solve the yellow center and the white centers. Now it's time to solve the remaining four centers, and remember this phrase, Bulger, B is blue, O is orange, G is green, and R is red. So we're going to do blue, orange, green, and red. So basically, uh, you have to follow this order, or they're going to have a messed up cross at, at the 3x3 three three stage. So we're going to start building the blue. These two can form a blue, so we're going to move this layer down, move this back, and move it back up. So we have a 1x2 blue block. All right, we're going to build a next 1x2 blue block, and this one's right here, so we're going to move them like that. Move it up, make sure you don't destroy this one. Move it over, and move it back up, so we have a blue center. All right, next to blue over here is going to be orange, so, uh, so we're going to do orange right here. Uh, so let's find it. this piece, and this piece can pair it like this. But once we did that, we also messed up a blue. We're going to move this up the way, so you have to keep track of where you're doing it. I move the blue back down so you keep the blue center solved. Now we're going to solve this uh, orange into up here. So again, just like the yellow, we can't move it over here because when we uh, reattach the blue, we're going to actually get pull this back down again. So we're going to have to put it into a solved piece like this. Move it twice and bring this piece back down. So now we have a solved orange and a solved blue center. After orange is green, B-O-G. And uh, green has to go here, so we're going to find a green. Uh, this one's already built, so we can move this up, spin it twice, and restore the blue and orange at the back. Alright, so green is over here, so just like that. Uh, we're going to put this up into here, spin it twice, and bring it back down. And once you solve green, you also automatically solve red because these are the last two centers. A little speed bump you might run into is when you have this case, and two of them are already solved, like these two and just remaining these two. So what you want to do is just line this green up with a 1x2 bar on the top like this and move it up. So when you pair this up and you pair these, move this over and bring this whole row back down. And now you should have all your centers solved. Alright, after solving the six centers, it's time to solve the edges. So basically what you want to do, I'm going to do white, all the white edges and then all the yellows and then work it on uh, from there. So what you want to do is find any edge that has a white on it. So for example, this one has white and blue, and this one has white and blue. Put them in a formation like this. Make sure they're not in the same row. So if this was up here, that would not work. And uh, I'll show you how to do that later on. So if you find a piece that has like this, slice it like this, so it pairs up. But you also realize you also destroyed all four centers on the uh, for front of the cube. What you want to do is move this edge into the top layer, move it over, and move this back down and now we're going to restore these uh, centers and now we have one solved white piece all right here's a case where the two are in the same layer and we need to get this one over here or this one over here so how we do that is follow this simple algorithm which is going to be on top of the screen and just like that we also have this over here and this over here so now we can slice them just like that uh, we're going to move this under the top layer, replace with any uh, piece over here, and move this back down to restore the centers. Our right, next white piece is white orange, and this one has white orange. They're already in the same slots. So we're going to move this across, move this up, 
move it over, bring uh, this piece down, and restore. So we have fixed the centers. All right, the last two are green and green, and the white piece. So we need to flip them because they're in the same uh, row. So we're gonna do this. Just like that, and now we have them in a different row. Slice them, move it up. Now, uh, when you move it across, we have a solve piece here. When you move that down and slice back, you're gonna destroy one of the solved ones you just solved. So what you wanna do is keep moving it until you find one that's not solved. And move it down and slice it back. Now that we've done all the white edges, let's do yellow. So we're gonna flip it over to find some yellow pieces. We got a uh, yellow and green and a yellow and green here. We're gonna put them into the correct places. We're gonna slice it, pair it, move it into the top layer, move it over and bring this back down. Slice back to fix the centers. The next yellow uh, is yellow and blue and the yellow and blue is right here. We're gonna move it down into formation and we're gonna pair these up. And now we're gonna move it up and find a unsolved piece we can uh, switch it with. So this one, move it back down, slice back. So you keep doing this over and over until all your edges are solved. All right, here's a little speed bump you might run into. So when you pair these two up, so yellow and orange and yellow and orange, pair it up, you move it on top, but all the edges on top are solved. And if you do on the other side, and move it up, all the edges are solved. So basically you can't really uh, slice back to pair up the centers because you're gonna destroy a single edge. So what you wanna do is actually just move a piece that is not solved into, on, from these layers into the top. Like that. So this one's not solved now. We can slice again, move it up. Now we have a free piece to replace it with. And now slice back. All right, the final speed bump is the last two edges. So when you pair one of them, you can't really uh, do any more. So these two have flipped. This is the only time you want them in the same row of each other, like that. Uh, again, if they're not flipped, I'll show you the algorithm on top of the screen. Just follow that right there. All right, if you followed it, just pause the video, whatever. Uh, when you did, we're gonna do this algorithm to solve the last two. So these two over like this, move it up, down, and slice back. And now you should have all your edges solved on a 4x4 Rubik's Cube. All right, from this step, just solve it like a normal 3x3, but you might run into a few steps called parity, which I'll show you right now. All right, this is parity. Basically, when you solve F2L and your last and you're on the OLL, you get something that you don't recognize from a 3x3, which is like this. On 3x3, you could have two to four edges, uh, uh, two to two, three or four edges on, on top, but on 4x4, you can get one on top. Basically, basic, this is a parity, so you, you need to mess up some centers to do this. Um, if you don't have this, keep going onto PLL, but you also might get a parity on PLL, so just keep watching this video. So for this, uh, follow the algorithm on top of the screen, and we'll solve this together. All right, now you should have a familiar case with two or more uh, edges on top. All right, you're onto pillow and you get something else that's not familiar on three by three, like this. These two edges are small, while well, others are solved. So on three by three, this is an impossible uh, move to get because you have to take pieces out to re rearrange them like this. But on four by four, you can get it because the centers are not, uh, um, you know, here. So to solve this case, uh, just Look at our on top of the screen. This works for any non-familiar PLs, so you can. This will work for uh, this, like two edges swap like this. You know, it will work for any of these. So, like this. So this algorithm on top will work for any of them to get you back to a familiar PLL. So follow the algorithm. All right, once you've done the algorithm, you should now have a familiar PLL or have a solved cube. So these three go to this way, which is the U perm. You should already know this. And there you go, you solved the 4x4. The 4x4 is pretty impressive. You can solve it in front of your friends and just show them this video if they want to know how to solve it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment something positive if this helped. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.